TLC's Outdaughtered is one of the cutest reality shows on TV. The series, which follows the Busby family, has seen parents Adam and Danielle Busby adapt to having six daughters. While the show has something for everyone, there are certain outdaughtered moments that only parents will understand. With six daughters, it's a wonder that Adam and Danielle Busby don't feel completely overwhelmed at all times. However, they manage to handle it all with a sense of humor and plenty of love. Well, for the most part. On one episode of the show, Danielle left the Quints home alone with Adam, and to say it was a stressful time for the father would be an understatement. While he was trying to wrangle all the kids, Adam told the cameras he was having a hard time just doing what Danielle does on a daily basis. Without Danielle here to help, I'm reminded how difficult it is to keep up with all these kids and keep the house in order at the same time. No doubt that dads everywhere could definitely understand his feelings. If there's one partner who is home with the kids most of the time and then the other partner has to take over that responsibility, it's a tough wake-up call. Y'all wear me out. How does mommy even keep up with y'all all day long? Every parent knows the anxiety and worry that comes with leaving your children alone with someone who isn't you. Whether you're leaving your kids with a family member, a friend, or a babysitter, it's nerve-wracking just because you can't be there to oversee everything that happens. In one episode, Adam and Danielle Busby left the quince with Danielle's sister, Crystal, and her husband, Dale, and obviously chaos ensued. I like being around the babies, but when it's just me and Crystal, we gotta do everything. Of course, as soon as their parents left, all five Quints immediately started crying. In that moment, parents everywhere could definitely understand how Adam and Danielle felt leaving and how Crystal and Dale felt watching the kids. Sure, it was hard on everyone, but it was definitely still entertaining to watch. A vacation. For many families, it's a time of rest and relaxation. But when you have six kids, a vacation can sometimes be more stressful than just staying at home. That isn't to say that a vacation to a new and exciting place isn't worth it, but it's simply different than a vacation without kids. For instance, on season five, the Busby family went on a Disney cruise with all six girls and several members of their extended family. The trip was hectic, to say the least, but there was one moment in particular that pretty much any parent could relate to, when the Quints were too excited to go to sleep. Adam and Danielle Busby were both exhausted from traveling, but all five quints were too pumped up about being on a Disney cruise to go right to bed. All I want is for the girls to rest, us to be able to rest, because this is going to be a long cruise. When you have kids, one of the, the best parts of watching them grow up is getting to see them celebrate the holidays each year. Watching them dig into a Thanksgiving feast, search for Easter eggs, and dress up for Halloween is seriously exciting and super adorable. But sometimes the kids don't take that well to the holidays, and that's something no one knows better than the Busbys. During one episode, the Busbys were getting ready to celebrate Halloween, and everyone was excited to see all six girls dressed up in costumes. However, it all proved to be a little much for the Quins, as they started to get scared after seeing some Halloween decorations and costumes. Halloween is scary even for adults, but only parents will understand what it's like to have a kid afraid of Halloween, no matter how cute they look in their costume. As a parent, one of the hardest things to deal with is watching your child suffer through something that you can't immediately make better. In season five of Outdaughtered, Parker Kate started to struggle with her anxiety. Parker's anxiety got so bad that the Busbys took her to an occupational therapist to figure out what they could do to help her. Parker hates new things and being in the spotlight. It was a hard situation, but one every parent could relate to, even if their child doesn't struggle with anxiety specifically. All parents know that making decisions for your child is tough. And in the case of Parker's anxiety, parents everywhere could understand the Busby struggle of trying to help their kid with a tough situation. As any parent who has tried to get their kid to sit still, smile, or just behave for the camera knows, sometimes it just isn't going to happen. As reality television stars, the Busbys know that all too well. For example, on season five of the show, Adam Busby shot a commercial for a line of vitamins in his home, starring the Quints. Even though the Quints are used to being filmed, Parker Kate felt a little too much pressure, and she needed time to adjust. I think you can do it, but if you don't want to, that's okay. Of course, all parents know what it's like when your kid won't cooperate, so moms and dads everywhere likely felt Adam's stress. For most kids, change is hard. The Busbys learned that firsthand when they got the Quince all new big girl beds, and it was a lot harder to deal with than just putting the beds together. It was pretty hard for Adam to get the girls down to sleep. They are way too excited. All during the night, the Quince were awake because the change was apparently too much for them to handle. On one episode, the parents tried to teach the Quints how to use the toilet instead of just going in their diapers, and it was a little confusing for the kids at first. I think the girls think that bathroom time is playtime. It wasn't easy to get all the girls to understand how to use the toilet, so Adam and Danielle ended up taking them to the bathroom every hour so they would get it. Potty training is hard, and this was a moment parents everywhere recognized. 
It's no secret that disciplining children is never really an easy task. It's not exactly fun for parents to have to teach their children right from wrong or to punish them when they disobey, and it's definitely not any fun for kids either. That's just a universal truth, which is why when the Busbys started to teach the Quints about discipline, it was so relatable to parents. On season five of the show, Adam and Danielle Busby decided to implement a new discipline system in which the parents would count to three, giving the girls two warnings before a consequence. However, when the parents were first trying to explain the system to the girls, there was some misunderstanding. For instance, when Danielle tried to tell them about getting a warning, one Quint thought she said morning, causing Danielle to repeat herself several times. So if I say two, that means a warning. Morning. 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 Warning. Teaching your children about discipline isn't easy, and parents everywhere could understand this moment of the show especially. For five little girls, having a sleepover probably sounds like the best night of their life. But for their parents, not so much. On an episode of the show, Adam and Danielle Busby attempted to let the Quints have a sleepover with their cousins, and no parent would be surprised to learn that it was a truly hectic night for all. All the parents at the sleepover were overwhelmed, including Crystal and Dale. When Dale spoke to the cameras about the sleepover, he said he thought Crystal was underestimating the chaos that was about to take place. Crystal makes it seem like it's gonna be all perfect and we're all gonna sing kumbaya and make s'mores. But, I mean, they're dangerous when they're together. Danielle told her sister, they're gonna be all hitting each other, picking each other's boogers. Sounds like a good time, and definitely a situation all parents have been in when they let their kids have a sleepover, even if it's just with their cousins. Though they may live in a nice house and star on a hit reality show, at the end of the day, the Busbys are still just regular people who have problems like everyone else. Specifically on season five, while Danielle Busby was waking the girls up, she noticed that daughter Ava was making some scary wheezing sounds while she was trying to breathe. Danielle said in the episode, "'It sounds like someone's struggling to breathe, and that is terrifying.'" Obviously, no parent wants to watch their kids feel sick, and this was an especially difficult moment for the Busbys, Danielle said. It was like she was fine, and then all of a sudden, and that's what's even more scary to me, because it was just so quick. Eventually, Adam and Danielle learned that their house was infested with mold, which was what was causing Ava's breathing problems, so at least they figured out what was wrong. On season five, after Adam and Danielle Busby learned their home had a big mold problem, they had to search for a rental house to live in until theirs was done getting cleaned and repaired. In one episode, Danielle tried to go with her mother, a realtor, the Quints affectionately call Mimi, to find a suitable living arrangement for the foreseeable future. Unfortunately, that meant Danielle had to take the Quints with her, which made house hunting all the more stressful. At one point in the episode, Hazel played in a toilet in a home they were visiting, and later on, a few Quints tried to hide in a closet. Danielle told the cameras, the Quints definitely are not helping my stress level right now. Honestly, if any parent has ever tried to run errands with a kid, they know how difficult it is, but house hunting with five toddlers sounds even more stressful. For a lot of families, Christmas morning is a super special time to be with each other, hang out in pajamas, and just enjoy the company of family and friends. However, when you have young kids, Christmas morning is usually the furthest thing from relaxing, which is especially true when you add in a painful medical procedure. As fans saw in season five, Danielle Busby had to undergo wisdom teeth surgery mere days before Christmas, so when the big day rolled around, she was in massive pain. Adam Busby told the cameras during the episode, Unfortunately, all I wanted for Christmas was for Danielle to feel better. While Danielle was able to sit in the living room with her family for a little bit, she eventually needed to go lay down in bed. Of course, their Christmas was still perfect, but that was definitely a moment all parents could sympathize with, as no one wants to spend Christmas with their family in pain. Fans of the show are well acquainted with Hazel Busby's eye condition. Hazel has had to undergo surgery for her eyes, and her glasses are just one way in which fans are able to tell her apart. According to TLC, she has an eye condition called nystagmus that causes her eyes to flutter uncontrollably. In order to help with her nystagmus, Hazel has had glasses for pretty much her whole life. But on season six of the show, Hazel got fitted for new big girl glasses, and it was a moment Adam and Danielle Busby won't forget anytime soon. Hazel, you look so darn now you're grown gonna up. Smile. You look so cute. <laughs> parents everywhere could relate to seeing their children seemingly grow up in the blink of an eye. Whether it's taking their first steps, getting new glasses, or learning to read, all of those milestones are precious to parents, no matter how many kids they might have. 
Everyone knows that kids make messes, that's just part of the package deal you get when you have babies. But there are times when your kids make a mess at the absolute worst possible time. Maybe it's when you're about to have company over or right before you have to leave for work. Whatever the case, every parent knows the pain of their kid making a disaster at home, which no one knows better than Adam and Danielle Busby. In one episode, just after the Busbys moved into their new rental home, the Quints made a huge mess in one of the rooms. When Adam discovered the huge mess the girls made, he yelled, Danielle, they did it again. It is taking every ounce of self-control not to just run out of this house. Having quince is messy business, but so is parenthood in general. At the end of the day, the Busbys have a full and happy life, stressful parenting moments and all. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.